What's up guys? Welcome to a bonus build it break it garage video. This video actually I found some old footage on my one of my SD cards and it shows Joey starting to install on his uh, fuel pumps on the 240. So uh, the footage is kind of uh, skippy through. It still uh, should make for a decent video. Watch Joey remove his old fuel setup out of the 240 and I mean this probably was taken at least six seven months ago so it's pretty old footage but uh, yeah it should still make for a decent video so before I start cleaning actually the trunk I found a use for our little friend this is what's gonna hold everything <laughs> good job Paul let's begin So it's not my first rodeo. Been here before. There's currently a Warbro 255 or Wallerbro, however you want to pronounce it. There's already a 255 in the tank. So the plan is to actually put two Warbro 450s, uh, the E85 flex steel ones, in the tank. Uh, I got a lot of little bits and pieces that I'm going to try and make work. So we'll kind of see how that progresses as we go. Just so you guys know, the battery is actually disconnected through a circuit breaker. Don't even worry about it. That's hilarious. <laughs> So apparently the last time I did the pump, I left the socket and extension down here in case the pump went bad. <laughs> I guess you gotta expect the unexpected. I really hope I have enough room to do what I plan on doing. Really close, guys. Tell by looking at it. But it seems as though everything's held up so far. So that's a plus. Fuel, oh, fuel pumps out. Leaking fuel. All right, so I set the bench up. I'm gonna start tearing into this puppy. Taking the old single 255 off and see what I can make happen. The extras. Always save the extras. So since I don't need, well, I don't need those connections anymore. Because they're gonna be filled out. Pull pump out. Okay, and that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. He just kind of left it off right there. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.